What's up you guys? Stellus there here. Coming back with a new commentary here. Got something a little new for you guys. I uh recently passed my Network Plus certification for um IT technical all that good stuff. Big thing for me, it kept me busy. Um that's why I haven't been too active. Um I was really booking for that, but I'm back, I'm on schedule. And now that I've done that, I've decided that it's time for me to start building my new gaming setup. Um, I know I just put out my current gaming setup, but my whole plan was to build a new one. I wasn't even going to show you the guys I was using right now. It's kind of like temporary past setup, um, even though it is really nice. Um, and I am using all pretty much the electronics from the current setup in the new one. So, uh, anyways, I'm, I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to build a new one. And I kept you in the dark pretty much on this temporary one. Um, and I felt bad for doing that, but I was waiting for 50 subs. And I am waiting for another number before I release the, the new, I mean, this, this setup is going to be, crazy um, i'm gonna show you guys too don't worry and uh i don't want to keep you guys in the dark for so long so i'm giving you an idea here my uh dad who's gonna help me build it of course uh and some co-workers uh he, but he he advised to go ahead and start by building a 3d um scale model not even scale just 3d model and he, he'll take it from there so uh, i was like Psh. I got you. So uh, we're here on Roblox. If you don't know what that is, Roblox, you can see it in the top right corner up here maybe, um, is great. It's amazing. Go ahead and check it out. It's a great program to use for building. Um, I've done so many crazy things on here. Forts, bases. Uh, it's crazy. Doors that move when you push a button. Um, if you guys are interested in this series and ever want to check that stuff out, you know, just let me know. Um, if you want to find me, my old account is Blackhawk86. I'll put it in the description. That was my main building account for a long time. So I joined in 09. I used it until about you know two months ago. Um, playing on and off. Um, now I'm on my account called Sterless there, of course. And uh, what I really want to do is put out commentaries for you guys. I'm also listening to music as I build. It keeps me in the zone. It helps it not get boring so um sorry i'm just letting you guys see this while i talk but uh i don't think you'll be able to hear the the music um i hope not or else i won't be able to monetize this video but um i don't even have to monetize it, you guys i didn't monetize my gaming setup video because that's not something i want to make money off of um that's just for you guys since you guys got me 50 subscribers um i didn't want to make money you know that was for you so let's go ahead and get started here um first thing you always want to do i'm going to kind of wreck, wreck, uh, wreck this out as a uh I don't, I don't have, yeah, I don't have any sets. Okay, um, so what you're going to want to do is, as soon as you start out, let's go ahead and, uh, blocks. This could be not the right thing. Yep, all right. So what you're going to do is go ahead and grab, um, just a, a simple mesh like this. Most useful meshes. These are meshes. Um, meshes are good too. What you want to do is you want to just grab something like this. Now. You want to go through every model you get from the free models. Um, this is a little sketchy, but these are just going to be meshes to make sure they don't have any uh, viruses inside them. These viruses won't affect your computer, of course. They'll just affect, affect the game, and it does happen. So once you grab your mesh set here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to ungroup up here. And that makes it to where you can grab each one and just move it like I did there. All right, or not. Down. All right. So once you've done that, you've got all these meshes here, but these still not what I want since this is just a brick with no mesh. So what you want to do, when you grab a brick from here, you don't want to just grab it because then you're removing it and you don't have, you know, a, a, a model set to grab after, grab off of after. You're going to go control C. You can do that up here too via the something up here. I don't know. Um, up here, right here. Copy, paste. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy, control C come over here and control V and it's going to pop it right there and now you can use this to build. Now I don't like how this base plate is this gray color. Um, I prefer the old black, and I also like to do this. All right, all right. Now uh, these are just real simple command commands you'll get up here. So let's, this, I'm not used to this studio. It's a bit different than what I used. Hmm. Alright, oh my gosh. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here, actually, you notice I think I'm using fraps, and it's Roblox doesn't do well with fraps. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, oh my goodness, Roblox really does really bad. Alright, so we're just going to start building here. Um, what I'm looking for is a corner-shaped desk. 
and that corner shaped desk is gonna have like a uh, an angled sitting position you'll see what I mean once I start building kinda looking around to where I'm gonna put it see what I need to start with um let's see so let's start with doing this what I want to do is it's really hard to build with it being so laggy Whoo, it's laggy oh my gosh It, it's not catching anything. Okay. It's not looking tall enough to me. Let's go one or two more blocks higher. Alright, that should be good. Then we're going to go ahead and have... See, we'll worry about that after. But first, we need to just take a... So we'll bring it all the way down. Mm-mm. It's really not liking the fact that I'm using fraps. Movements are slow. Block updates are slow. Alright. Oh man, this is aggravating. Okay. Um, Alright, so what we want to do next is... Um, let's see, I'm just kind of playing this out. So we're gonna come ahead and do this. <sighs> my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so light. Oh Alright. Can we grab you? Bring it out to about here. What we're gonna do is take you. Take you there. Click off of you. Take you. Flip you around. It's not liking the fact that I'm using Roblox. I mean, fraps. There we go. Okay. Ooh, it's aggravating for me. Um, and especially, I know it is for you guys. I can try to see if there's another recording software I can use. Um, it's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Nope. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Alright, so I want something like this going. But then, I want to be a little even more tricky. And we're going to take it. Now, I've got a lot more length on this side. Just enough to do something like this. Okay, alright, come back. With everything, if you're trying to record with fraps, let me just go ahead and tell you what you have to do to make it work and look smooth. So... Since I'm using fraps, the update system is a whole lot slower. So when I click a brick, I have to wait for it to click. And when I'm done moving it, I have to wait for it to like, let go of the block. Since it takes like a second delay. Much longer than it regularly would. Alright, and then I guess be done like that. Um, Alright, and then here in my room, I've got a window on this side. My bed's here. And there's a blank wall up here. Um, which is why this is so much longer. Plus I have a lot more you know, r r room. Um, and what I'm looking for to do, let's see, do I have any commands? Yes, I do. I think with the new Roblox Studio, you can take a brick, so let's say I did this. Darn it. I'm going to take you, put you down, and we're going to take you. I'm going to rotate you. Can it rotate? Does this program not work like that? Nope. Control Z. There we go. Then we're going to come here. Make it much longer. Whew. Hard to deal with. Okay. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, this lag. That lag. Can't do that. Okay. Six long. Whew, it's bad. Okay. Leave you there. Nice. Mm -mm. Come on, man. 
I leave you. Okay. Leave you there. No! No! Alright, just stay. Stop moving. Oh, look at that. I did not even click it. It's like trying to play a Minecraft parkour map. Alright, then we're going to take you. We're going to name it, okay? We're going to name, instead of brick, no mesh. Go ahead and take it. Rename. A corner. Okay. Naming is very important. When you're trying to seat frame by using the command bar, as you see here, um, instead of using a tool, tools do not work very well, um, and they don't get it precise like you can using the command um, line here. So as you can see, we've got the command here. Feel free to copy it. I'll actually put it in the description for you guys. Um, and we're going to go to the end of floor 9 here. Okay, we're going to backspace all of floor 9. I'm going to just be careful. The lag is killing me. Alright, then corner 9. No, there was no 9. What am I talking about? That was floor. Alright, so we've got that. And here, we're going to take that negative out. Take the period out. We're going to go to the middle here. Negative 1. There we go. Click off. Okay. All right. Let me just show you guys. You see how it's kind of flashing in and out like that? That's okay. That's what you want. That's perfect. Um, these blocks are a little finicky from this set that I've got behind me here. If my camera will ever turn. I don't know what the I'm doing. All right. These blocks are a little weird, especially since you can see the, the detail and the lines so clearly. Usually you can't do that. Um, but the, the fact that it's flashing in and out means it's perfectly on the same axis as the other blocks around it so it'll be flush um, you won't be able to tell that it's not there if there weren't so many lines on these blocks I can't even get back up now okay Let's see alright so this is kinda what I'm looking for here um, and what I want to do next um, that's just the basic design of the desk I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, stop the recording here um, build up a little bit more and then come back now that you guys know what I'm doing, basically, and I'll, I'll see you when I, once I'm back. Alright, guys, what up? I'm back. I've done a little bit more here. Much, much easier without having to record. Um, it's actually doing pretty well right now. Um, let's hope I'm recording here. Uh, let me just go ahead and check. Can't trust too much, huh? Yep, here we go. Alright, so, um, what you see here, just uh, open things. Um, here, I'm going to have the subwoofer. Uh, it might be a little too big. I'm not really sure yet. Um, these are just random shelves here, and uh, concluding this, it'll probably hold DVDs or something. Here, I'm going to put a desktop computer. Here, I'm going to put a... Huh. These are different widths. It's actually performing really, really nicely right now. Um. What's going on? No, it's good. Okay. Um. Anyways, what am I saying? Um, I want to tell you guys a few more things that I just, you know, have remembered over the past few minutes while I was building. But, um, let's see. Th this should be, what I'm thinking is, this is enough room to put the window here. Um, this is another, like I said, port. That's another storage place. Uh, main thing I just want to make sure I have is enough room for the subwoofer. Um, I'll probably put, like, turtle beaches up here or something, the stand. Um... And then, okay, so this is how it's going to work. Uh, like I said, sub over there. I'm I don't have two PCs right now. This is going to be like a, either an editing PC or the gaming PC, and this will be my main PC for whatever. One of them is going to be gaming, one of them is going to be editing, whatever I decide to do with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase everything I need for my new setup right now. Um, I have most of it. The only thing that's not going to be purchased is the new PC. Um, I don't have enough, you know, I don't have $1,200 to throw away right now. Um... And so I kind of like how it's just open under here, a lot of ventilation, which is really good. I am open to, you know, putting more support. It might need it, even though a lot of the stuff on my setup is not heavy at all. Um, there are a lot of cool little features and details going into this setup that I just cannot tell you about. Um, 
just because I mean that's part of the it's part of the video you know it's it's part of the excitement the suspense um, I actually got my chair today which is just so sweet um, me and my friend Noah he's been he was in the Foxtrot video um, we went to all this depot the other day for about I don't know um, probably an hour and a half and I just sat in all the chairs seeing which one I wanted he found this chair that was like an arm an, imagine an armchair that you I might have already talked about this imagine an armchair that you sit in the living room with right a big puffy leather armchair and uh, he just, he fell in love with the thing, right? It reclines, he was loving it, and it rolled. And I'm like, dude, this thing looks so stupid. I can't believe that. And uh, for me, I'm at my computer all the time. Like, right now, I'm at my computer, right? And I need to be up in an upright position with my back supported. My other chair didn't support my back. I was leaning over a really bad position. Um, actually, my back hurts a little bit right now in the new chair because I'm not used to having a stiff back sitting it up like this, which is really good for your, your, your support. Um... But I also, you know, like, when I just want to lay back, play video games like Xbox, you know, or just watch a movie, I want to be able to just recline and sit back. And it was either that I found a chair that was too stiff, and it was great for support, and I could sit there on my computer for hours, but when I wanted to lean back, it wasn't going to work. Or when I wanted to lean back, it was perfect, and I loved it, but I couldn't get myself to sit up. It was like the chair I, have, I had previously. Um... And I eventually looked at Noah, and he's been sitting in this chair for like an hour now, and he's just reclined with his hat on his eyes. He's just going to sleep in the middle of his depot. I said, Noah, get up out of the chair. He says, what? I said, get up out of the chair. And I sat down and I said, man, this thing is awesome. And he goes, I told you, huh? I said, no, nah, but it looks stupid. I don't want that in my room. Ended up looking, did a lot more research, and went back today, bought the chair he was sitting in, man, that, that reclining arm, arm chair. You'll see it in the set of video. It is... It is a lazy bar chair. It is gorgeous. I mean, it's so comfortable. Look, I'm gonna cry on right now. Y'all just gonna hear me. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, if if like Noah said, he always has trouble finding a place to sleep when he comes to my house. And uh, he said, "Man, you buy this chair. I'm gonna sleep at your house. I'm gonna sleep in that chair." As that's, 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 like that's that's what he was doing. So I love this chair, and I'm really happy with it. It was a bit on, more on the expensive side, but totally worth it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put the electronics in this thing right now. I'm going to go ahead and like scale a computer, all that good stuff to show you guys how it's going to basically be set up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut back in after that. Alright guys, so here we go. Here's like the final product here. This is what I'm looking at. I actually had to extend the desk quite a bit. I had to extend this side. That was from the first... Uh, the second clip, I had extended this, and then the third one, which I just did, I extended this quite a bit farther um, to make it reach. Um, it, it would actually scale up like this in my room as well, um, to where I could put this set up. It did make this a lot longer, too. These do match up evenly, though, which is really nice. Um, subwoofer goes here. Um, all the speaker system is uh, gray, so we've got the two speakers here, like they are on my desk right now, and then the amplifier, which is right here under the first monitor. It makes it so convenient just to reach and turn everything up and down. Um, and then also, this is my four monitors. Computer, 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 Xbox. My Xbox, I forgot to add that. My Xbox will go Somewhere in between these two, probably. Um, it'll actually be the Xbox One. Um, when I'm starting out, I'm sure it'll be the 360, um, so I can record content for you guys. Um, I'll let you know what kind of card I get to capture card to do that as well. Um, but I'm gonna replace my Xbox One right here, and the Xbox 360 will go in the front of my room up here, um, where the TV is at, so I can play with friends on that. Um, here's my computer. That's where the main computer will go for now. I kind of like it being in that corner better. My right hand is my strongest. Um, I might replace the beast with that. The, the computer I'm going to build is just going to be a, a beast. Um, and yeah, there's going to be the four monitors. The reason I have it set up like this and not keep my Xbox 360 on the TV or anything like that, so when I'm working right here and I want to play Xbox, I just swivel around and scoot over. It's really simple. I'm probably going to have like a little ottoman or something under here to prop my feet up. Like I said, I like to lean back when I'm playing Xbox. It's real simple. Um, and then there's one also structural change that I would like to make as well now that I'm recording and it, Roblox Studio seems to be compliant it was only that first episode that was really bad um let's see let's get this all right hold up hold up it's not wanting to move sometimes roblox studio glitch out like this it's not like in conforming to this so what we're gonna do is inch it along so here we're gonna have that there and we're gonna have it come back into that and then we're gonna come straight down with you um, we're gonna come back over to here nope you 
you there. Send that back. Whatever. Um, and then let's choose a different color here. Well, no, we can just keep using gray. It's fine. All right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. Let's um, let's see models inventory. Let's see game stuff. It's just regular block. What is this? Teleport part. Nope. These plates. Okay, nope. Weapons. Nope. Okay, um, they used to have just a regular Roblox set, so I can't even hit that. Um, let's go. I need just a regular block. Um, my old account used to have a set. Let's go ahead and put this in here. This is from another project I'm working on, but it does have regular bricks. So I'm going to throw that in here. It's going to be a real slow rendering this up. Oh, I think it's rendering. Oh. No? Okay. Stop. Roblox is being a little non-compliant again. Let's go drag you in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm going to pop back on camera in a second. Alright. Back. Um, this didn't come out too well. Um, Roblox is acting up for a second. I'd have to leave the place and go back in to get it to fix itself. But since I'm not that interested in really fixing it correctly, um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. This is going to be a little section like I have now on my current desk where the keyboard and mice are. It rolls out so I can sit here, kind of surround it, um, and use the keyboard and the mouse. Um, it'll be a pretty good length, I think. These screens are not going to be this wide. Um, for on the scaling on this game, it works pretty well. Um, this is going to actually end a little bit shorter. Well, I don't know. It might be scale. I'm not sure. Um, it'll be pretty close to this, I guess. And it doesn't have these sides on it. On the these are just to show you that there's going to be rolling tracks here. And that'll where my key that'll be where my keyboard and mouse go. And then I'll have the Xbox back there and probably the charging station or something up in one of these. This is a shelf behind here. It's another little storage place. Um, the reason there's no back to this here and it's just open, I can click through it, is there's going to be my wall behind it. Um, basically, be really easy to. Just so I can move it. None of this is going to be attached to the wall. Um, and that's just so I can take it apart and move it if I want. There are so many crazy things that are going to go into this desk. Minor details. The surface, I'll give you a hint there, has two really cool things. Um, may or not, may not involve recycled wood and light. But uh, So there's a, there's a lot of things to go into this. And then what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to show you a, a neat trick. To select everything, you're just going to left click and drag across the screen where you want to go be careful not to grab anything else and what you're going to do is you're going to take control and you're going to hit all the parts you don't want so let me just concentrate here you can let go of control and move but just make sure you're holding control again there we go What else we got? All right, and I'm gonna press Control C and then Control V, and I'm gonna group it. And it's gonna mess up. Well, maybe not. All right, nice. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just line it up real good, easy, nice. And we're gonna move it, and then we're gonna hit R. Once we move it, that was kind of I guess pointless. Should have done it this way. And then we're gonna move it. All right, and the reason we did that. Uh, well, I guess I didn't unselect those. Unselect. The tool I'm using to move everything right here is just this omnidirectional right there. Um, okay, so the reason I did that was this is to show you guys the setup and how it's going to look. Uh, and this is to show my dad when he wants a 3D animation um, or mesh, whatever you want to call that. Even though it's not even close to a mesh, the blocks we built it with is a mesh. Um, and that's basically... I cracked my back. Like I said, it's a weird seat. Um, and that's just to show him what I kind of am looking for here, and this was to show you guys. Um, it's going to come out real cool. It's going to be sweet. I was, I've waited such a long time. My dream growing up as a kid before I even knew about YouTube was to have a sweet setup. Um, I've always liked games. To me, I don't know. This is like my command center. This is where I sit down. I'm me. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm in my own little world. To me... When I was a kid, especially, um, 
games were always like an escape, you know? I mean, you go into this world, you do what you want, you're in control. Um, in some ways, I just knew that you could get these three screens to surround you like I have it now and like I have it in this picture. And I thought, if you could do that and spread a game across all three screens, you would be immersed. Your peripherals would be hit. Your main vision would be hit. You would be in the game. You would be, like, if I'm sitting... See, at, Roblox is acting up again. Come on, come on. It doesn't usually variable like this. You can kind of just go wherever you want. Let's see. Kind of confuse it for a second. I, just thought, I don't think it's going to work. There we go, there we go. So, like, I'm sitting here at my desk, and I've got it all surrounding me. I'm in this game. I'm in the world. i got my speakers right in front of me. The sub is right by my head. It'll be pounding in my ears. It's just, that's what I want. That's where I am. Swivel around, and I'm scoot to the left here, and I'm playing Xbox. And I'm also going to have the speakers hooked up there. It'll be a little off, but I might get a, sec a separate speaker system and hook that subwoofer off here. I don't really know. Um... That's all extra money, and that would be something extra. So it's just, it's, it's really sweet. This is something I've been wanting for a long time. And it was between this and a gym membership, and I love working out, but this has been my dream, and this is where it's at. Um, you know, just thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want more of this content, more of this Roblox building especially, or you just want some tours of my places. Um, I've got a lot of cool places, put it that way. Um, I've got over 100 on my other account of just sweet, some unfinished, some finished spaces. Um... I used to do a lot, so uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks, you guys, for watching. This has been Ro Sterless there, playing on Roblox, building my future Ultimate Extreme Gaming setup. Later, guys.